Hi everyone, it's Corrie. Today I'm going to show you how to put this coronation candy holder together. So here we are with everything cut out. These are the little small details. Okay, so the uh, shiny purple, the black and the gold are basically the three front pieces. And then we've got the dome or the half bauble. This is the Irish shutter. I've used red, blue and white, but you can use whatever colours you want. And then we've got two layers, a white, which is the very back, and then the black. And the Irish shutter will be sandwiched between them like this. But for now, we're going to start on the front and I'm going to be using some Beacon 3-in-1. I'm going to start by attaching the black piece to the purple. Just make sure that they're the right way around by looking at the bottom where the, um, the date is. That's the easiest way. So they should line up. And then we're going to add um, this gold glitter. Oh, I need to weed a little bit here. And because this is quite um, a delicate design, I'm going to use some zig two-way glue for this. It's like a pen, so it makes it much easier to use on like small details. Okay, so um, all the circles should line up in the middle and then there should be like this lovely outline around the crown like that. Okay, and then the dome will go in like this. Next, I'm going to work on the date. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to do some form dots on the bottom to give it a little 3D effect. Okay, I'm going to use beacon glue on the back of the purple and attach it to the black. And then I will use the Zig 2 way glue to do the numbers of the date. Okay, so there's our date done. I'll just attach it now. I love these foam dots and foam tape. You can get really small um, foam squares as well. They're great. So we'll just leave that to dry for now and then I'm going to work on these back pieces. So um, there is a tutorial for the Irish shutter which I will have in the area below, the description below. And what you want to do is if you look at these little marks here, you can see where the arm is going to swing to open and close. And that will help you decide where to put it. So uh, I've added beacon glue, flip it over and make sure that the circles align. And then I'm going to use some foam tape and foam dots um, all over this white area, except for where the arm is going to swing. Okay, so I've added glue to the ring of the Irish shutter and now I'm just lining up my front and back, back pieces I guess I could call them, the white and the black. Have a little bit of form showing there. Let's just check everything's okay and it works fine, yep. Lovely. I just did the red, white and blue. I thought it was a little fun effect. But if you prefer to just do it white or black, it really is up to you. So the front will go on like this. And I'm using it now as a guide for the half dome using Beacon 3-in-1 again, just going around in a circle. Take the front off 
and then place the bauble on that circle. Obviously, if you can leave things to dry a bit longer than I am here, that would be great. Now, here you could use glue or foam dots. It is up to you, you know, how much of a 3D effect you want. Um, I'm just going to use glue today. I'll just put glue all over this black piece. And then I will place these front layers on. Just line them up. Give them a squeeze. And that's basically your finished candy holder. There we go. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Any questions, drop me a line. Please follow and subscribe. Thanks now, bye.